the thing was all the way up there, I don't understand why it went all the way back down. It does that a few times, then it'll go back up and then eventually shuts down. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or if that's an error, I don't have no idea, but you see what I'm talking about. So start going back up again. Looks like it's starting to, the needle's starting to go back up. It does that like two or three times, then it'll start to actually stay up, then eventually it shuts down. Not sure if this is a normal occurrence. If anyone knows for sure, if you could leave a comment below, if anyone knows about this type of stuff. Well, who knows? I, mean, I am getting heat in the house, everything's working, but. I do notice for the upstairs zone, it runs for quite a while. While downstairs, it runs no more than three to four minutes. You can have the thermostat set to 90, for an example. And when this thing fires up, it'll be like a three to four minute run. The circulator pump, of course, I keep running until the thermostat's satisfied. But upstairs, on the other hand, it literally runs for like 15, 16 minutes straight. And this is the reason why, because it heats up to where you see it, then it randomly starts going back down like losing its hot air and it's got to reheat it again not sure why that's happening but I believe the hot water and everything's all in here because this heats up the water too now we're going now it should shut off soon it's 168 degrees the same in this thing Seventy-one. So now it's about accurate with this. Looks like it's starting to drop a little bit. But I don't think it's going to drop as much this time. This is why I feel like this way the boiler runs for so long, wasting so much fuel. eight minutes in this video and the thing's still running and before I even recorded it it was running One sixty-five. it's saying in that in this thing here so it's just 170 it's like it keeps going down I don't understand that I feel like if that wouldn't happen, this thing would have, well, obviously it would have shut it off long ago. Regardless if the, th if the thermostat's calling for heat or not. The only thing that should just keep running is the circulator pump until the thermostat's satisfied with the temperature. We're going almost nine minutes and this thing's still running. Now it looks like it's going back up. This is how it always was from the moment we got it. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be. But I do tell you on the downstairs zone, it does not do this. It's like just heating the regular water. Like if you take a shower or you turn on the sink. Upstairs though, it's like a 15, 16 minute run. I mean, you can see I'm almost 10 minutes in this video and this thing's still running. 
it's probably bound to shut off within the next maybe minute. Usually hear a little click sound once you hear that, then you know it's gonna possibly shut down. the 170 zone now on, on this needle. Shut down 11 minutes and 17 seconds. And the temperature is 185. As you can, I don't know if you can hear on camera, but the circulator pump's still on. I put the thermostat high on purpose to show you guys like why this thing runs for so long. Like, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not, but I can definitely tell you this. Downstairs, I have two zones, downstairs, upstairs. Right now, this zone that's running is upstairs. The downstairs zone clicks on. There's times the boiler doesn't even fire up because I guess the, you know, the tank's already heated still. But if it does end up firing up, it's like a three, maybe four minute run. Whether the thermostat's satisfied with the heat or not, this thing will only run for three to four minutes. If anything, it just keeps circulating into the radiators and the downstairs. But upstairs wise, this thing will run for 15 minutes. And now that it's shut down, if the thermostat doesn't click off within 10 minutes or two, it should fire back on. And it'll probably one run for another six to seven minutes, shut down, stay off for 10 minutes. Basically just keep doing that until the thermostat's satisfied with the temperature and then it shuts it all down together. But I feel like this shouldn't be like that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, because when it first clicks on, this will start going up. As you've seen in a video, it was in 170 something. Then you see the needle going back like this down. Then it'll go back up. So what I feel like that's doing is maybe it's shooting the heat into the radiators. And then as it's shooting the heat in the radiators, maybe the boiler loses its temperature. So it's got to reheat it again. The circulator pump shuts off for maybe a couple of minutes just so it could get that heat back. Shoot it back. The circulator pump comes back on. And then, I don't know, I guess until it's just heated completely, I, I have no idea. You know, I'm not really an expert. I know very little about these things. I mean, very interesting machinery, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it there. I'm going to shut the heat off. But as you could hear, you do hear that circulator pump back there running. Uh, the temperature currently now is 188 degrees. Uh, it's about the same on there, I think it looks. But uh, yeah, this I know is to control the valve and shit for the hot water. Whew, dusty off. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you guys know anything about this, if you could just leave a comment down below saying this is a normal or not a normal thing, or I mean, I am getting heat, but I just feel like it runs for way too damn long and it's so inefficient. I bet there's a lot of fuel being wasted on this. But uh, anyway, all right, take it easy, guys. 189 now, still going up a little bit, even though it's not running anymore. But uh, all right, take it easy. Take it easy.